I have got two of the absolute best takeaway drills for you. First, let's go over the number one mistake that I see players make. And a lot of times, if you want to hit it with power, we have to load up properly, and it all starts in the first couple of feet. What I'll see players do a lot of times is not turn their chest away from the ball, and they'll pick the club up with their arms. Worse than that, they may even get this right elbow to kind of fly away from their body and just kind of pick it up all hands and arms, and now I'm disconnected. My body's not working together, and worse than that, I don't get any kind of a turn. So you can see if I hit a shot here, I'm going to pick it up with all arms. I'm going to try to swing hard. I'm going to try to hit this as hard as I can, but I'm not going to rotate my body. So I hit that one solid. I hit it about as good as I can. Carry distance 157, 164. I felt like I had a lot of arms. I felt like I could have chunked it. I could have thinned it. Nothing was working together, but I didn't do my takeaway right. This time I'm going to do my takeaway right, which is really rotating my chest early in the swing. And then I'm going to have a bigger turn, a bigger load up, and I'm going to feel like I'm even smooth on this one. And let's see what kind of distance I can get. There we go, really solid on that one. Club head speed went up a ton. Total distance went up to 218. Carry distance went up to 208. We're talking 40 yards farther, 50 yards farther. So that all comes down this feeling. I can get you to recreate the same feeling with these two drills. What I have here is a one by four board. And I like this because this is probably about uh, roughly three feet long, two and a half feet long, something like that. Doesn't matter the exact size or shape. I just want it light enough to where I can slide this board and push it away in my backswing. Now, if I go ahead and set up a golf ball a couple inches in front of this, what I'm really focusing on here is keeping my right arm straight. This is the big key. I don't want this arm bending and that arm flying behind me right away. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping it straight. I'm rotating my chest in the backswing. I feel like I'm taking the outside of my right shoulder and letting it pull behind my, bo my body. I feel like I'm taking my right hip and letting it rotate behind my body. I feel like I'm taking my belt buckle and letting it turn away from my target like that. So all these movements, I have a little bit of pressure to the right side and then everything, my right leg, my hip, my belt buckle, my chest, my shoulder, everything just throws that away from the target. Notice how when I'm here, I've really started to load up a ton. My club hasn't moved very far back, but look at my right arm, it's straight. If I keep that right arm straight and I have those same sensations, it's almost impossible to mess this up. If I do it the wrong way, I'm not gonna get as long of a slide with that board, and I'm just gonna kinda pick up that right arm like this. It almost felt like I lifted the board up in the air. Almost like I, what I mean by that is, the difference was I kind of got under that board on that one. It felt like I was lifting the board up like this versus letting my body turn and sliding it that way across the ground. Now, the reason the board is so helpful is because you can feel that you have to get a little weight shift. You have to get a little pressure into that board to let it slide. If I just pick it up with my arms, I feel like I can't slide that board very well. So that's the first piece. That's gonna get you a really good feel for this. Now, if we wanna take it to level two, the pro version of that, we're gonna use one of these TheraBands, which these are fantastic. You have to get one of these. I don't get anything for these. You can get them on Amazon, they're a few bucks a piece. Doesn't matter which kind of use. These are just the really light, stretchy ones. I'm gonna put it across my club face like this, have it go tight, and I'm gonna just wrap it around a few times here, just so it's nice and tight around the club face. Now from there, I'm gonna go ahead and put this under my right arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it with my left hand like that. And now it's, it's pretty tight, right? There's some tension there. But what's gonna happen is, if I do this one piece takeaway, I should be able to take that club all the way back to here. My right arm is straight. This is cinched in really tight. And I've really turned my entire body. Now, look how much I've, I've rotated my shoulders 90 degrees and my hands are barely above waist high here. That's a perfect takeaway. Look at Tiger, look at Rory, look at Adam Scott, look at Dustin Johnson, whoever you want to use. Look at all those guys are getting that takeaway just like that. Now, if I don't move my body and I just kind of pick the club up, what happens is, again, my right elbow flies across my body. That loosens up that pressure under my armpit, and now I can't hit a very good shot. 
And I tell you what, once I do a few of those board drills, I do a few of the rubber band drills, the TheraBand, I feel like I can absolutely kill it. So here, I'm gonna recreate that same feeling. Then all I'm gonna do is shift my weight to the left to start the downswing and swing on through to a good full finish. Let's see what kind of distance we get. I'm not even gonna to try to swing that hard. I'm just gonna to try to make a really good takeaway and turn. Not even the most solid shot. I don't know why it's going a little faster. You see I carried that 200 yards with a six iron. Slightly thin on that one. This one I'm gonna hit down a little bit more and I'm really gonna focus on my, the same thing in the follow through, really getting long away. So I'm, I'm really long here. I have lag and then I'm long coming through it. Long on both sides and let's give it another whirl. There we go, that one was killed there for me. Again, 208 carry with six iron, not gonna do a ton better than that. Now let me show you a really cool trick that all this is gonna fall apart if we don't start the downswing right by doing this. So I'm gonna take this band out again. I'm gonna wrap it around the club head. And this is pretty awesome. For those of you who are coming in steep on the downswing, you're gonna love this drill. So again, I'm just gonna wrap it around my club head. I'm gonna take my other arm, get it to kind of cinch in between my right armpit. And now I got some tension here. See if I can roll that around without it coming off. There we go. So from here, as I start my downswing, I don't want to go all the way to the top of the backswing because it's going to fly out. If I go past about here, that arm will come away from my body and this rubber band will fly to my armpit. But I want you to do a little drill that's going to simulate your downswing. We're going to do that great takeaway and then I'm going to pretend like I'm doing a little half backswing and then I'm starting my downswing. Well, as I'm doing that, I want my this rubber band to pull my club head from the inside. I want it to feel like it pulls it behind my body like this. And you can see how that tension is wanting to pull it that way. There's no tension on this band if it pulls it back behind my body. So if I have it here and I just relax my wrist, it pulls it back there like that. That's exactly what's happening in your downswing. I want that club head to be pulled behind me so that I have a bunch of lag here and I can get some shaft lean as I'm coming through the shot. Now the opposite of that would be me trying to square this club up with my forearms. If I'm trying to square it up with my forearms, I'd actually start to throw it out this way in my downswing. I get steep, I get coming over the top, and it's gonna really start to put more pressure into it. So I wanna stretch the band and then let the band start to pull toward my, pull the club behind my body. So that's what I call the anti-roll method. Most players do the opposite there. As they start the downswing, they wanna start throwing this club out steeper and to square it up like this in front of their body rather than letting it be pulled behind your body. You can stay in your posture now, you can have shaft lean, you can release the club out in front. All those good things are happening from that club doing this little move to start the downswing. That all stems from not trying to roll the forearms over each other. Well, I have a preview of what I call the anti-roll method that I'm gonna show you in here just one second. I'll play a preview in a minute, and then all you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on the screen somewhere, and I'll show you exactly how to do that the right way. There's a real key with my wrist. I square up the face of my wrist in a particular way to make that happen, and I'm gonna share it with you in this video. So check out that video, go ahead and click the link, the little card that you see up at the top. If you don't see one of those cards, just go down to the description below, click the link there, and you'll get instant access to this video. I can't wait to share it with you, the anti-roll method. You're gonna love it. Let's get started right now. So here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep. And that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this. There's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground, and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. 
Now, when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, you'll see the face is straight up and down, and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,